Hello there, people! Finally, after the results for Spartan Contest of 2011, today I will announce the winners of my contest. I gotta say, there weren't many entrants, but I'm impressed by the most who did quite a good job on their entries. Alright! First category will contain T Vamping. T Vamping means bringing Pokemon sprites back to the old game style Pokemon had there. I'm talking about the Gold Silver Sprite generation. The maximum amount of colors they could use back then was 4. Counting black and white as colors too means you could only choose 2 colors from the original palettes. There were 3 entrants for this category. The third place goes to Fire Bull. His Breloom was quite decent, but I guess his sprite got more than 4 colors. Still it's pretty good, but that's too many colors. That, that isn't really a decent defense, actually. Second place goes to Sprite Today. The Weezing is a pretty good defense. Shading looks pretty good, but sometimes the black just dominates too much in the smoke. As well as a few parts on Weezing are a bit dominating. Especially black parts. Anyway, first place. Goes to Dark Master Mitch 007. I almost lost this sprite since all of a sudden it disappeared away somewhere. But I've managed to find it back, so it's all okay now. <laughs> what I really like about the Rufflet is that it's look very retro. Also, he did a pretty good job on the shading style Game Freak had back then. You know, dithering stuff. This sprite looks just like it came from the old games. So far, category 1. Now we're going on to the next one. This contains free scratching. Scratching can ask most of your imagination as you have to fully think of the concept by yourself. There were 4 entrants for this category. 4th place goes to 1221 epic. Uh, it's interesting, but it has no outlines. Uh, it's looking too much to the front, and it's more a stickman than it's a real sprite in my opinion. Sorry man, no points for style. The third place goes to Fireball 74. Where does you be the shading come from? But wait, where does the shading come from when I look at a cape? Left above is the standards for Pokemon sprites when where the light source is coming from, and this sprite looks kinda like you rusted with paint tools. I won't say you put your heart into this sprite, sorry. <laughs> Second place is for Poke Chick, 9190. The outlines are a bit too light. It makes the black out outline stand out too much as also the outline is a bit wobbly at some points. The shading could have been better either. Still, it's a nice concept. Also, like the wings, they aren't bad, and wings are pretty hard to make. The winner of category 2 is Sprite Today. I like this sprite. Even though it's small, the shading's good. The outlines aren't too light. It's a good job there, even if it's so small. Now, category 3. Free spriting. So, that means you can do anything you like. To Epic 2021, who got the 4th place. It's a Ray Quasar covered in spikes on the back of a Dialga. Nothing truly effort here, it's just copying and pasting. Not even the shading is changed or stuff. You really should put more time in your sprites instead of rushing the job. It's really, it's really sad to see this. Third place is for the sprite today. This fella looks more like most standard mixed sprites I see on the internet. Parts put together to make something, but not really something you look at like, wow. No, really, this is not really impressive at all. Second place is for Fireball 74. 
I like how you did the sprite. I like it looks a lot. Jump very well jump. Although the left arm looks a bit stronger than the right arm. Really, I love this sprite. But I've got to be saying that first place for Snashile is more awesome. This snake is just awesome. You were shaded it pretty well and the parts look very good together. That is why I had to choose Snashile above Fireball. On to category 4. All you had to do is make my old spread block a new sprite. I gotta admit I love both sprites a lot. Yeah, that's right, there were two entrants for this one. Fireball and Snashile have the duel again. Fireball made a fusion. It looks a lot like Blark. Job very well done. But Blark was quite a bulky Pokemon and I don't really see it in an Umbreon body. First place goes to Snashile then. He took the body of a Jolteon and went from there to scratch the flames and the body for Blark. Blark was a bulky sprite and this one looks bulkier than Fireballs. I'm also impressed by your fighter shape. It's one of the hardest shadings but you made it awesome. So I gotta say you got the first place and you deserve it. Next round is the ultimate grass type. Category 5. Two sprites were entered by Pokechick and Sprite Today. Pokechick second again. Uh, sorry, I mean, Pokechick second. Yet again, your s outlines were a tad too light. It's really sad to just say, but you should really make a darker color for your outlines. Sprite Today's end until me was better too, as well as a very interesting design with the blade it's holding. Category 6. What's to create an angelic Pokemon? Too bad. The world is only one entrance. Sprite to do it. I thank you for the effort. It's a very nice sprite. I like the aura around the little guy. It's little. It's cute. <laughs> Alright, on to the last category. Not the least, I gotta say. The category was to create an ultimate dragon Pokemon. This time a duel between Fireball and Pokechick. Pretty hard one. I like the concept from Pokechick, but I also do like the quality from Fireball Sprite. Okay, I'm, I got to say a winner. <laughs> Otherwise people are going to complain I guess. Okay, um... The winner is... Pokechick! 9119! I like the concept and the shading looks fine. It also looks quite original compared to Fireball Sprite. Alright, this was the Pokemon Scry Spriting Contest by Frozen Maniac. I wish everyone a happy new year and remember, keep spriting, keep training, you'll get better and always, you can always get better. Just like... Hey, wait, I sucked as a spider too once. Banana. <laughs>